first video I'm doing knowing I've got 500 subscribers. Yay! <laughs> I was doing a live review of the uh, Aeromax drill and uh, engravers and uh, some friends of mine jumped on and told me we'd hit 500, so awesome possum. Super happy about that. Couldn't be happier. Thanks everybody so much for contributing to that. I appreciate it. But today is the day that we build the Gundam. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, I had looked at um, building one of these artifact models, uh, but then I came across this one and an extra artifact actually, uh, or two extra, yeah, two extra, and this guy at Hobby Lobby on sale. And I was like, yeah. He's a Zaku-ish. Um, I want to build that guy. Um, and he looks like just a basic snap together. I'd like to do a custom mod of him. So we'll see if I can just snap it together without gluing it too much because I want to go back and actually do some painting and some mods to it at a later time. Uh, but I am curious how, how quick and easy it is to build one of these. It's a very, it's a small box. Um, doesn't seem to be a ton of parts. I'm going to guess we could probably knock this out pretty quick. So let's see how it goes. So I guess it starts with opening the box. So how does that work? Let's see. All you Gundam guys are going to be like, don't do that. You'll destroy the box. Um, or I don't know. Maybe some of you guys just tear right into it. I don't know. Looks like there's some perforations here. I think what I'd like to do is salvage the box if I can. I don't like to destroy things if I don't have to. So let's start with that and go from there. Let's start with not destroying the box. <laughs> um, I guess I need some sharp blades. I'm going to guess I'm going to need some sharp blades for all kinds of stuff. So let's see. What would be good stuff to have on hand? Some filing sticks. Those are nasty. Let's get a, let's get a nice clean one. And we'll get a little snippy snappy tool. Folks, it's important to have all your tools ready before you get started building these things so that your videos don't take forever. Uh, this will work. Yeah, that sounds like it's good enough. All right. You can always tell the quality of a blade by the sound it makes on your hobby table. Um, I wouldn't hold me to that. So it looks like I can just... I might even just be able to separate the glue at the top here. Yeah, let's try that. Yeah, that was easy. Much easier than I anticipated. Oh, I see what they're doing. They're incorporating instructions into the box. Did not know that. Good to know. <laughs> I guess that's why they want me to rip the box apart. Oh yeah, all the instructions are in the box. I'm sure all you uh, experienced Gundam builders are like, what is he doing? <laughs> uh, but looks like, yeah, looks like all of this stuff can just pop apart. So let's, let's do that. Let's separate this out. And I don't like to destroy boxes if I don't have to. Looks like in order for me to get from start to finish, looks like that's the one they want me to cut. Let's do that one. Yeah, I can feel the perforations underneath. And there we go. There's the instructions. Cool. So this is like probably for little kids. What's the age range? Probably like 15 plus. Really? I think I was building stuff like this when I was about four. Let's find out. Oh yeah, this is gonna take five minutes. Looks like most of them's already built. So this isn't like a real, real model kit. 
This is more like an action figure posing as a model kit. So we're definitely going to modify this one, but let's put it together, see what it looks like. For those of you who've never seen it before, nice little frame. This is super, this is one of the things I really like about Gundam model kits is they have these really fantastically detailed and articulate uh, skeletons underneath that everything attaches to. And it's just, just freaking awesome. All right, let's see if we can get this in there without destroying it. I'm going to say we're going to press fit it this way and not the other way because the other way looks like it would be breaking which I just broke. Did I break it? No, I didn't break it. Okay. Um, so it looks like it goes in here. Man, they are hard to press fit. I can see now why some of these break sometimes. Whew, that was, that made my heart skip a beat. All right, so that pops into here. That one's nice and loose. This one's not so much, but okay. So we got that. That looks like the front. There's even a neck articulation. Really? That one's loosey-goosey. All right, well, we'll have to keep an eye on that. All right, so it looks like these are accessory pieces for what appears to be a already beefy guy so these are the main ones so let's stick with those this looks like to be a pretty straightforward operation here yeah get out out i say ah the sticky ones don't want to come out real well so that's the head that's a nice head that is super cool i love the zaku builds Looks a lot like the Zaku 3 almost. Which I'm sure they all draw inspiration from each other. They're all designed by the same guys. <laughs> Alright. Mm -hmm. Looks like this pops apart. Alright, so is this like the stand for the armor? So that you can... How does this work? Interesting. Okay. That's what it looks like. So this is like a little armor placement thing maybe you can use this as something else later i don't know looks pretty straightforward let's do this foot first uh which one's the outside though i think that's the outside so this gotta be this foot here looks like that one goes there that one goes there who wants instructions? I don't want instructions. Does anybody want instructions? I don't really care for them personally. Never been a big big one for instructions. I think I need to bend that knee. Let's just take that off. Looks like that's pretty straightforward. So why isn't it going on? Oh, it has to hook onto there. Okay. All right. That's different. And uh, this was the front, if I'm not mistaken. I use the other one as a reference. That one goes there. Okay. And then there's a back side to it. Nope, no back side to it. Interesting. It just pops onto the front. Looks like it snaps into place like that. Um, and then we got these flaps on here. This is awesome. Uh, where is the foot? Ah, uh, Peter over here. I'll put on the, uh, head last. Which one's left and right? Uh, is there a left and right? Doesn't appear to be. They look pretty identical. Seems to be some articulation there. That does not coincide with the way this is built. So do these pop off? And these go in their place, maybe? 
Uh, maybe I should look at the instructions. <laughs> Let's see what it is. Feet. Oh, the feet come apart. That's different. All right, well, let's put that foot back on then. Where is it? Without breaking it. So this comes apart, huh? What it looks like. There we go. Where does that go, though? According to this, it goes right over that. Uh, one, two, one, two, and then there's a base plate. So where's these little base plates? There they are. Doesn't really describe how it goes in there, though. It just says, you should stick it in this way, and then you're on your own. <laughs> okay, it looks like... Maybe that goes in there. No. I can kind of see some bits that look like they 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 fit. It looks like it just does this. Kind of rests on that. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, there was another piece in there. Okay, strange. Is that the same piece? It's the same piece, so that, that was already on, okay. Now I get it. Now I get it. Hey, what's up? Okay. Oh, that's cool. All right. Let's take that part off. on. Uh, let's see where these arm bits go. That goes there, that goes there. pieces go oh I see that goes in the front so where's the little piece that goes in the upper arm there it is okay so there is an upper arm piece and these are all stuck together okay that makes sense is it easier maybe just to replace the whole arm nope Go. 
Which part goes in front? Ooh, no. Big piece goes in the back. Eek. Man, these are on tight. Ah. Let me get it out of there. There we go. So that goes on the on the front side. Okay. Like that. This goes on the other side. And that goes in the upper arm. Which looks like Portion of the upper arm. Gotta zoom in on these. I guess right there. That rotates around. So you ideally would want the arm to be down this way and turn to this way. right so I did have to refer to the instructions for some of this looks like <laughs> better. There we go. Some of these pieces are really finicky, hard to get apart, so that doesn't help. We'll leave the gun arm on that one. That goes this way. These aren't as hard as I imagined they would be. I don't think they had the type of snap together stuff they do now when I was a kid. Not sure how these come off though. I'm a little bit worried about that, but looks like that pops off the front pretty easily. That goes there. How do these come off? The side flaps are concerning. Note direction of part. All right, it goes like they go up and then down. So I'm guessing they they pop off from the top. So we can do this without breaking them. Uh, there's two pieces here. Let's put those on while we're at it. Yeah, it looks like they just snap on top of this stuff here. So let's do that. There we go. Now they're popping off. Real easy. Nothing to be concerned about here, folks. All right. So 
those go there. That goes there. Oops, I could, that's the back section. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Dropped it. No, it's the one piece. Good. Let's see. Yeah, it looks pretty straightforward after that. That's that arm piece. It goes there. Just snaps on. Nothing big. This little piece goes on top of that. Just have this figured out. There we go. There's my foot pad. pieces of these for how do these go on oh, these replace the outside leg so I actually take this piece off and this one goes in its place it looks like I'm not sure That's what it looked like. Or does this go on top of that? Oh, that goes on top of it. Wow, that's like extra, extra armor. Looks like that's pretty much done. And I guess this is extra armor also. But where does this go? Uh, mounts to the front of one of these. Oh, okay. All right then. So I have this backwards. So that actually goes this way. And this goes on this way. If I'm doing this right. Uh, this goes on the other direction. All right. That goes here. Yeah, so they're just extra armor bits. All right, well, that makes sense. That's kind of what I figured. These are really easy to put together. I mean, they're almost intuitive to a degree. I've only had to refer to the instructions a couple times for some of the weirder stuff, but otherwise, looks like it's pretty clean operation, you know? I 
and they give you so much room you don't even have to worry about like what goes where first uh maybe in uh, with a couple of pieces but for the most part uh yeah this thing's like almost built we've only been doing this like 20 minutes and most of that was just fumbling around so i can say that this is a pretty slick little guy where do these go oh these get on the legs really more missiles on the legs that's a new one well i wouldn't say that's new but i guess it makes sense if that's where a lot of the armor is why not right definitely gonna say this would be fun to mod and just two more pieces left and then we're done let's get this guy piece off of here that's wrong that goes like this this goes up here that goes there okay is that sword fit in that hand yep sure does What are the weapons we got? Is there a place to put the sword? So I think that's what this is for. These look like clips for the sword, I'm gonna guess. But do you do the hilt or the handle? Well, what about this way? Yeah, it looks like the hilt seems to work okay. Snaps in good enough. Oh, they give you the little stand. So, how does the stand work? All right. But where do you mount it to? This is done okay this needs a head well that was pretty easy that was pretty cool but pretty easy some of these parts kind of don't like to go together real well but man that is cool so let's take a look at him yeah i think that's the way he's supposed to look so there's our custom Gundam build. I wouldn't say custom. We're gonna get to the custom part, don't worry. I just wanted to figure out which one I wanted to do. Cause he's got lots of little details. I could probably etch him out a little bit more. Looks like he's got some extra parts here, extra hand, extra arm. Where does this part come in though? How do I mount this? Is it through here? You know what? Let me see. Completed display stand. Attach figure to display stand here. Oh, does this rotate? Ah, oh, this rotates. Well, it says you're supposed to put the arms on. I don't really care for that. Uh, and it says you're supposed to put these things off to the side. Again, you probably don't need to do that. So I like the way this looks with like this. I don't like the hands on here. I think that's kind of silly, but I guess if you want to make sure you keep track of all the parts, the way they're, they're recommending to put it together is to put the arms on, which again, it's a little weird. They're saying put the arms on like this and then mount this here in kind of a crisscross fashion. Which, again, kind of weird. They're saying to mount it like that. But, I mean, that just seems peculiar to me. That doesn't seem right. Uh, 
Um, and then this thing goes, you know, doesn't stay on there. Yeah, they're saying to do it like this. Um, I'm not joking. That's what it looks like. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not crazy about that. I like the other way better. It looks less like it's trying to be a pair of arms. Like, why would you want to put the arms back on? But yeah, I can understand for, for the purposes of setting it up. It looks like, so what this does, it's got the little nozzle right there in his crotch. You just shove this into his crotch, and I guess that, if you can get it in there. Let's try doing it this way. Okay, it's in there. So you can see why I kind of like it this way better. Maybe it's not as stable. Oops. I think I would like for it to be a little bit more forward, but oh well. I guess if you want to do it in flight mode, you know, Superman. Anyway, not crazy about the stand. The model itself is nice. We'll mess around with the stand later, but. Uh, I do like the model. I think what I'd like to do is modify it a lot because I definitely don't like the paint job. I'm not crazy about the red, white, and blue stuff. That's just I'm not saying I don't love America. I'm just saying that it just looks kind of funky. I'm, I'm just not a big fan of that color combination, especially on a robot. Um, never been a fan of that color blue with that bright red. It's just the idea, I think, is that it appeals to small children, bright colors. That was the original Gundam design anyway. If you guys don't know about that, read up on it. And please, if you play with these things and you're serious about playing with them, learn who the guy is who designed them. Because there's one guy singularly responsible. I'm not going to tell you his name. You're going to have to Google it yourself. There's one guy who's singularly responsible for all of the designs of these Gundam. Were it not for him, these would not look the way they do. Always, always bugs me. I know, pet peeve, but bugs me, bugs me. It's like saying, uh, I love Ford, I own Fords. And you're like, so you, you're a fan of Henry Ford? You familiar with Henry Ford? Henry who? It's like, oh, uh. Anyway, guys, later, uh, this was my Gundam build. I mean, there's really nothing to it, you know? I don't know what uh, the big huff is about. I know there's a lot more complicated models. I'm just kidding. Um, but, yeah, this is going to come apart. I'm going to etch some stuff out on here. We're going to make some changes. I like some things about it. Not crazy about others. Don't, don't really, not really a big fan of this fat armor stuff. But, yeah, I think it, it just looks too, too much, you know, just too much bulk going on here. But, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Ah, let's put this back here, see what that looks like. I just have to see it. Snap in, snap in, damn you. There we go. Is it not snapping in? Is that how they do it? No. Should be snapping in. There it is. There we go. So, more on this guy later. We're definitely going to make some changes. I love, love the Zaku model. The head's awesome. Uh, just some things I'd rather not see on here that... We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. All you Gundam guys can tell me. All right. Later.